Today I have another DD15 engine with a broken cylinder liner. As you already know, cylinder liner is a common problem on DD15 engines. They crack over the time, causing many type of problems like water in oil and uh, uh, a lot of back pressure, smoke and stuff like that. And uh, this engine right here um, had a problem. Uh, we have the cylinder liners right here, these are the cylinder liners, but as soon as you get in contact with them, you can notice something different. On these cylinder liners, we can see a lot of corrosion. See, this is a clear sign that this engine was uh, running with water. It was no coolant. And the reason why we had cracked cylinder liners on this engine is because the corrosion. Corrosion happened to destroy the uh, the cylinder liners and uh, and that's the reason why we have this problem. And this case over here, oh no, this one, this one is not damaged. Which one is the one that's damaged? This one right here is damaged right here. So this one has is broken over here, but Everything was housed because of the amassing except of corrosion. You can clearly see all the cylinders in the same condition, see? It is possible that this engine run with no coolant at all for a long period of time and, uh, and didn't care, they didn't actually add the coolant to it. And uh, that is something very important that you guys gotta pay attention. If you, you can drive your truck with no coolant, you can add water, and that will be okay for a short period of time. Let's say, for example, if you are in, uh, in a specific area of an estate and you wanna go to the nearest repair shop and it is leaking coolant, you can add cool, uh, a water and then you can drive all the way to the nearest repair location. But if you leave the water for like six months, that will not be something good for the engine. Something like this can happen and that can be a serious consequence on your engine. See, if we go to the engine block, we are going to see a clear example of corrosion. Uh, let me get the flashlight right here. Okay. So we can see the clear example of corrosion right here. See how this cylinder block looks. It is all with an excessive amount of corrosion all over the cylinders because the same thing, water. Water is the cause of this corrosion and it is the reason why this engine went this way. It resists uh, this um, amount of corrosion and this engine is a major overhaul based on that. The uh, bottom of the cylinder is completely damaged. You can see how that one looks because uh, the water didn't uh, help this condition and all the uh, cylinder liners uh, were damaged the same way. So all the seats of the cylinder liner gotta be repaired. This engine has to be machined and repaired, uh, the engine block, so it can uh, be reused. So, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how uh, this uh, problem got into uh, uh, so deep like this because uh, usually water doesn't damage your engine if you use it for a short period of time, as I said before. But for a corrosion like this, this is like a, a one year or more than one year, or, or probably the engine was sitting for a long time with uh, water and this could create corrosion like this as well. So uh, what will be the repair to this problem will be to repair the um, cylinder block. Someone has to come and machine the engine block. At least uh, we know that it is just the cylinder block on the uh, cylinder area. The connecting rods, the main bearings and everything else is fine. And also we have to replace all the cylinder liners. And uh, probably we have to replace the old cooler as well because it's gonna be filled 
with a lot of oxidation from the engine block and that can cause a lot of problems to the oil temperature. That's the reason why it's better to replace it right now. It is very important that you guys get the idea then uh, using coolant, it is not just from uh, prevention of the engine overheating or something like that. Using coolant can help to maintain temperature, can help to uh, keep your uh, metal components in a good shape and also can help to clean the system because coolant has different type of chemicals that allows the uh, coolant to clean different stuff and maintain everything in a good condition. So this is just a demonstration on you if for any reason you think that water doesn't damage an engine, it does. It doesn't matter what type of engine it is, it could be a gasoline engine or it could be a diesel engine. The consequence is going to be the same. And as I said before, if you wanna, want to use water instead of coolant for a short period of time will be fine from maybe like for like 100 miles, 1000 miles probably, depending if you wanna come from one area to another just to repair it, everything is fine. As long as you drain the water and you add coolant. But if you wanna keep driving your engine and driving your truck with only water, then you wanna have consequences like this, then are going to be super expensive. But uh, up to right now, this is all I have. Uh, for the moment, uh, I want to talk about something else in a different video than is related to the head, then it's right there. But it's going to be for the next video you want to see, so that way you have separate things. Um, that way uh, we can have different knowledge and uh, if you have any questions about it, you can just comment below. If anything like this has happened to you, please comment below, it's very important. And if you have experiences or something about it, it's important that you comment as well. If you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram. There you can uh, contact me directly, Francisco Maya, you too. And I can try to answer as fast as I can your questions. Want to help me? You want to send some support to my channel? Just uh, check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel. I can create content like this if you help me. But if you don't want to help me, you can subscribe to the channel. That is important. Like the video. And remember, I will share it so other people can learn about these machines. Thank you.